One, they are the regional native plants, in particular Southeast Texas native plants for our region. Um, they're the ultimate tried and true plants. They're time tested. They are, they are the plants that have been here forever. And so if you put them in conditions that they're native to or pretty close, you're gonna have a very high chance of success. So that's number one. You're gonna have a super high, over 90% chance of success if you use native plants and put them in the right similar conditions to what they experience out in the wild. Uh, one of the other benefits is that they are typically going to be much more drought tolerant during dry years uh, if located properly and they're going to be much more tolerant of extended rainy periods as well and so they're going to have um, more ability to withstand the extreme weather events and so you have less chance of, of losing uh, major parts of your landscape. Another benefit is that they also um, attract wildlife and provide sustenance to area wildlife. So most native plants pro provide something, either their leaves or butterfly larval food sources, or their flowers attract all sorts of different pollinators, or their berries provide sustenance to songbirds. So they're sustaining our, our local area wildlife. And then another really important benefit is that native plants are, are resistant to um, a lot of so-called pests, pests in, in general that are considered um, problematic. And it's important to remember only 2% only of all insects are really considered to be pests to man. And um, but one of the great things about native plants is if there are any insects that visit them for any reason, probably there's something healthy going on. Um, there's, you know, there are butterfly larvae that are um, consuming the leaves and that's part of their life cycle and the plants are, um, are in tune with that happening and then they'll just regrow those leaves. And so you just don't really have to worry about it. And actually it's, it goes beyond that. These native plants are actually, in, in most cases, attracting in beneficial insects that go out and take care of different pest problems um, out in the landscape. So if people like to grow bush beans and they're worried about aphids, if they um, plant some, some native butterfly weed, they're going to bring in beneficial insects that will then go take care, in many cases, of the aphids on those bush beans. And so that's a, you know, it's an added benefit. And of course, it, it's great to not have to feel like you have to go spray and treat plants um, in terms of the cost and then the potential of, um, of the uh, pollution in the environment. And then of course there are many other added benefits as well, such as you know that you're um, playing a part in preserving the natural heritage of an area. When you um, keep planting native plants, you're, you, are pre you are preserving that and you're playing a role in conservation for, you know, for your region. For more information, visit watersmart.tamu.edu and good luck with your gardening projects.